mic. Hello children, today we are going to discuss about chapter number 8 that is introduction to trigonometry. So, in our CBSE curriculum it has been introduced uh, in the grade 10 and moreover this is very very important topic in your further studies like plus 1 plus 2 as well as engineering. In fact, so your future completely depend on trigonometry. Suppose if you want to go um, in your life along with mathematics, so definitely trigonometry is very very important for you to learn. So, let us see what is this trigonometry means and what is this trigonometry is all about, right. So, this word trigonometry T R I G O N O M E T R Y trigonometry. We should pronounce this as trigonometry, but not trigonometry, right. So, this word trigonometry derived from three Greek roots or three Greek words, they are tri, the first word is tri and second word is gono and third word is matron, right. So, these three are three Greek roots or three Greek words. The meaning of tri is going to be 3, tri means 3 and the meaning of gono means angles and coming to this metron, the meaning of this metron is going to be measurement, right. So, briefly the meaning of trigonometry is 3 angles measurement. So, where 3 angles are located? In which plane figure 3 angles are located? Yes, 3 angles are located in a triangle. So, trigonometry means study of a triangle, right? And later on, it is developed into the relationship between the angles as well as sides of a triangle. So, many mathematicians contributed towards this trigonometry. But our Indian mathematicians efforts and the contributions and their struggle is you know it is uh, endless. And moreover let us try to understand what is this trigonometry is all about. The word trigonometry derived from three Greek roots they are tri, gono and metron. The meaning of tri is three. Gono means angles and metron means measurement or measurementation. So, on the whole trigonometry means the study of a triangle and the trigonometry gives the relationship between sides and angles of a triangle, right. And before we enter into this trigonometry, basically what is the measurement of this angle? See, for example, if I walk 10 kilometers, in for example, 5 hours or 6 hours, then I can say that the distance that I walk is equal to some 10 kilometers. Otherwise, distance from one point to the other point can be measured as some centimeters or meters or kilometers or hectometers. So, there are so many units of measurement of the distance. Like that, suppose if you want to measure the weight of an object. So, what is the weight of this object? The weight of this object is for example, some 6 grams or 6 kgs, right. So, like that we can give different measurements to measure the weight of an object. Like that suppose there is a liquid and if you want to measure the liquid, so the liquid measurement is in millimeters, milliliters, otherwise liters or kiloliters, something like that. There are different measurements to measure the liquid, but what is the measurement of an angle? See, we all say that suppose there are, there are two rays, this is one ray as well as this is one more ray, both the rays are starting from an initial point O, then the combination of those, these two rays is said to be an angle and if we want to measure an angle, we simply say that this angle is equal to some 30 degrees or 40 degrees or 50 degrees or 90 degrees or 100 degrees whatever it is. Apart from degrees, is there any measurement or is there any unit to measure an angle? 
that is what we will have to think and moreover you all know about a complete angle see what do you mean by a complete angle can anybody say what is meant by complete angle so we say that complete angle is equal to complete angle one complete angle so one complete angle is known as 360 degrees why do you call that 360 degrees as one complete angle why not 361 degrees or why not 270 degrees or why not some other angle why we call it as only 360 degrees there is a small history behind one complete angle is equal to 360 degrees see uh, we know mathematics is originated or developed or some contributions were initially done from babylonians right so uh, out of curiosity before so many number of years so babylonians try to understand when they uh, sleep in the night they look in the sky and they understand and they observe the movement of the stars okay so when they were observing on one particular day when they started observing the movement of the movement of the stars and after exactly 365 days after exactly 365 days again those stars came into the same position so that that is why they have understand one thing that see after 365 days the stars came into their original position so it is nothing but they are completed so completed they have introduced they have originated that one complete revolution is equal to 365 but 365 is not a friendly number because it has no much factors so that they have concluded the nearest number to 365 as 360 and that 360 can be considered as a complete angle because it is a friendly number it has many number of factors so that is why 360 degrees is called as one complete angle right so for example this is one ray for example this is the initial vertex let it be o and this is one more ray which is lying on that so first ray is oa ray and second ray is ob ray if both the rays coincide each other then what is the angle between them of course there is no angle formed because there is no rotation started if the rotation has been started then definitely there must be some angle formed since the rotation is not started then the angle between them is equal to zero zero degrees and if you consider that oa rays as oa ray as initial ray and ob ray as terminal ray or final ray and it start rotation in anti clockwise direction and coming to the same position after one complete revolution then it is said to be then the angle formed by that ob with oa is said to be 360 degrees right that is what called as one complete angle now this is what 360 degrees i just want to know what do you mean by one degree how can i say that how can i define one degree see this is 360 degrees is the angle between oa and ob means the initial initial ray as well as the terminal ray if i divide this 360 degrees into 360 equal parts so first first part second part third part fourth part fifth part sixth seven eight nine like that i am dividing that 360 degrees into 360 equal parts then each one part out of these 360 degrees that is one out of 360th part so one by 360th part of one complete revolution is said to be one degree so like that we can define one degree so did you all understand what do you mean by one degree so one degree is the angle and moreover what is that one degree is one by 360th part of one complete revolution is said to be one degree right so you know about 360 degrees with the help of this one degree you can say 90 degrees as well as 100 degrees or 180 degrees or 360 degrees whatever you want right so this is the definition of one degree so i repeat one degree is the angle 
or 1 by 360th part of 1 complete revolution is said to be 1 degree. Now, let us try to understand what are all the different measurements of units to measure an angle apart from these degrees, right? Because so far we know about only degrees, we do not know anything about that. But there are some other measurements of units to measure an angle also. Let us try to understand them. First of all, these angles are introduced in some different areas. So, according to their contribution, according to their convenience, they made one angle. So, there are three units of measurements of an angle. So, what are those three units of measurements of an angle? So, units of measurements of an angle, first system of units of measurements of an angle is sexagesimal system. So, what do you call this system? Sexagesimal system. This sexagesimal system introduced by Britishers, so that is why it is said to be British system also, right? So, the first system is sexagesimal system introduced by Britishers. That is why the system is said to be British system also. And second system is centesimal system, centesimal system. So, and this centesimal system introduced by French people. So, that is why it is said to be French system. And third system is circular or radian measure, circular or radian measure. So, this is the system is the combination of the other systems. So, there are so far three units of measurements of an angle according to the systems. The first one is sexagesimal system introduced by Britishers. So, that is why it is said to be British system also. And the second system is centesimal system introduced by French people. So, that is why it is called French system also. And the third system is circular or radian measure. So, this is the combination of the other systems. Let us try to understand what is this sexagesimal system is all about as well as what is this centesimal system is all about as well as what is this circular or radian measure is all about, right? Okay. So, the first system is sexagesimal system. Okay. So, according to this sexagesimal system, first one is sexagesimal system. According to this sexagesimal system, one right angle is divided into, so what do you mean by one right angle? According to, according to our uh, studies, one right angle is equal to 90 degrees, but it was introduced by Britishers. So, that is why we call this one right angle. So, one right angle is divided into 90 equal parts and each part is said to be one degree. According to British system, they divided one right angle into 90 equal parts and each part is said to be one degree. You should read it as one degree. And one degree is further divided into 60 equal parts and each part is said to be one minute, right? So, this is the indication for one minute, okay? And one minute is further divided into, one minute is further divided into 60 equal parts and each part is said to be one second each part is said to be one second. And why did they call this system as sexagesimal system? Because according to them, the division into 60 equal parts is said to be sexagesimal, right? So, that word sexagesimal has come from this division 60-60. 60-60 is according to them that is sexagesimal. So, that is why this system is named as sexagesimal system. So, briefly, According to this British system or sexagesimal system, they divided one right angle into 90 equal parts and each part is said to be 1 degree. And 1 degree is further divided into 60 equal parts and each part is said to be 1 minute. 
and 1 minute is further divided into 60 equal parts and each part is said to be 1 second. So, this is about sexagesimal system. Coming to the second system, what is that second system? That is centesimal system. Centesimal system introduced by French people. So, according to this centesimal system, they also divided one right angle, one right angle into 100 equal parts. They divided into 90 equal parts, but these people divided one right angle into 100 equal parts and each part is said to be one grade, right? So, this is 1 G stands for one grade. So, and one grade is further divided into 100 equal parts. Again, each part is said to be 1 minute. So, this is 1 minute. And again, 1 minute is further divided into 60 equal parts. And each, sorry, 1 minute is further divided into 100 equal parts. And each part is said to be again, what is this one? 2 dash that is 1 second. So, it is said to be 1 second. So, what is the similarity between these two systems? After they divided degrees, the other measurements to degrees are minutes as well as seconds. But here also, according to this system, after dividing them into grades, again they divided grades into minutes as well as seconds. So, that is only the similarity between these two systems. But once you observe, here according to sexagesimal system, they divided one right angle into 90 equal parts and each part is said to be 1 degree. But here, according to the centesimal system, they divided one right angle into 100 equal parts and each part is said to be 1 grade. Again, 1 grade is further divided into 100 equal parts, each part is said to be 1 minute. And 1 minute is further divided into 100 equal parts, each part is said to be 1 second. But why do we call it as centesimal system? See, the name itself is there in the centesimal system. Cent, what do you mean by cent? Cent means 100, right? We use this word cent, percent. Percent means per 100. This is the division into 100 equal parts. That is why that system is said to be centesimal system. Hope you understand. So, this is about sexagesimal system as well as centesimal system. So, what is the third system of units of measurements of an angle? Yes, the third system is circular or radian measure. So, according to this third system that is circular measure or radian measure, circular or radian measure. So, that is circular or radian measure. Before we discuss about this circular or radian measure, let us have a circle, right? And there is the center of the circle let it be O and this is one radius and this is one more radius. Okay? And this is what called from here to here is the length of the arc of the sector of the circle. Here, this is radius and this is also radius. The length of arc of a sector is also equal to length of the radius. Then, this is the angle subtended by this arc angle subtended by the arc means angle made by the arc. Angle subtended by this arc at the center. That angle subtended by this arc whose length is equal to radius of the circle. Ensure that length of arc must be equal to radius of the circle. Suppose radius of the circle is equal to 5 centimeters. Then length of arc of a sector should also be equal to 5 centimeters only. Then the angle formed by this arc AB at the center is said to be one radian. So, this is the definition of one radian. So, one radian is defined as the angle subtended, the angle made, subtended means made, the angle made by this arc whose length is equal to radius of the circle at its center is said to be one radian. Correct? is said to be one radian. Now, according to this circular uh, system or radian measure, already you know that length of arc of a circle that is nothing but perimeter of a circle or circumference of circle is equal to 2 pi r. Right? And 
in the system according to the system they divided one complete angle that is 360 degrees so 360 degrees is defined by the circular or radian measure with the help of the circumference as 2 pi radians power c power c stands for the circular measure you can call it as a radian measure also as the name is circular or radian measure so according to this system 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radians if 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radians then what is 180 degrees 180 degrees is equal to pi radians because 360 degrees is equal to 2 times 180 right so that 180 is equal to pi radians in this 180 degrees is equal to pi radians you can write 180 degrees as 180 times 1 degree is equal to pi radians is equal to pi the approximate value of pi for our calculation purpose is 22 divided by 7 this is not exactly equal to pi this is only for the calculation purpose we already know that pi is an irrational number what do you mean by irrational number it is neither terminating nor repeating decimal so but why are we taking pi is equal to 22 by 7 because that is approximately equal to that pi that is why for our calculation purpose we take pi is equal to 22 by 7 since it is pi radians pi radians means pi into 1 radian pi means 22 by 7 into 1 radian right from this if you transpose 180 degrees that side then 1 degree is equal to 22 divided by 7 into this 180 goes that side it would be 1 by 180 into 1 radian now if you simplify this you will get an approximate value of 1 degree in terms of radians that is 1 degree is equal to 0.01746 radians that is not exact value that is an approximate value so instead of using equal to we can use 1 degree is approximately equal to 0.01746 radians please make a note of it because this is a standard value right and coming to this 1 degree we expressed what is 1 degree in terms of radians can we express what is 1 radian in terms of degrees yes of course by the um, help of this information we can easily figure out what is the value of one radian in terms of degrees let us try to understand that okay so here right see the value of one degree is equal to 0.01746 radians now i am trying to figure out what is the value of one radian in terms of degrees okay we know that 180 degrees is equal to pi radians i am writing this one as pi radians is equal to 180 degrees correct so pi radians means what pi into 1 radian is equal to 180 degrees as 180 into 1 degree again pi is equal to the approximate value is 22 by 7 into 1 radian is equal to 180 into 1 degree so transpose 22 by 7 that side so that 1 radian is equal to 180 into 22 by 7 will become 7 divided by 22 into 1 degree if you simplify this 1 radian is equal to 57 degrees 16 minutes approximately it is exactly not the same value it is approximate value again so that you can write it as one radian is e is approximately equal to 57 degrees 16 minutes got it so this is the value of one radian in terms of degrees and this is the value of one degree in terms of radians so this is what is the circular measure see here if you once observe 180 degrees is equal to pi radians if 180 degrees is equal to pi radians i am dividing both the sides by 2 then 180 degrees by 2 is equal to pi divided by 2 radians what is 180 degrees divided by 2 which is equal to 
90 degrees which is equal to pi divided by 2 radians. So, 90 degrees is equal to pi by 2 radians. So, why am I finding the value of 90 degrees here? Because according to our previous two units of systems of measurements of an angle, they talk about one right angle. According to the first system, one right angle is divided into, what is that? One right angle is divided into 90 degrees according to the first system. Now, according to the second system, one right angle is equal to 100 grades. According to third system, one right angle is equal to pi by 2 radians. See, you can establish a relationship between sexagesimal system, centesimal system and radian or circular measure. So, what is that empirical relationship between these three systems of units of measurements of an angle? That is, according to the first system, there are how many degrees for a right angle? There are 90 degrees for a right angle so that d divided by 90. d divided by 90 means degrees are 90 as well as how many grades are there? Grades are 100 and how many radians are there? Pi by 2 radians are there. So, you can write it as c divided by pi by 2. So, this is what the empirical relationship between three systems of units of measurements of an angle. So, with the help of this only empirical relationship, you can convert one system to the other system easily. Hope you understand. Let us have a few set of examples uh, and then uh, we will move into what exactly is trigonometry. Okay? We are simply discussing about what are the units of measurements of an angle. We did not enter into the real trigonometry. right? So, for example, I have an angle. So, that angle is convert the given question is convert um, like 90 degrees into other systems okay convert 90 degrees into other systems 90 degrees into other systems and uh, by using our empirical relationship you can easily convert this 90 degrees into other systems what is that empirical relationship between three systems degrees are 90 which is equal to grades are 100 which is equal to radians are pi by 2 correct now i am going to convert this 90 degrees into grades so when i convert 90 degrees into grades then i should consider these two because degrees to grades okay so if i consider d by 90 is equal to g divided by 100 then how many degrees are there i am going to convert 90 degrees so put 90 in the place of d then it is going to be 90 divided by 90 is equal to g divided by 100 so 90 90 gets cancelled which is equal to 1 is equal to g divided g divided by 100 then if 1 equal to g by 100 so g is equal to 100 so what does it mean one right angle is equal to 100 grades similarly converting 90 degrees into radians then i will have to consider these two okay so this is the first one and considering the second one what is that second one d by 90 is equal to c divided by pi by 2 okay again degrees are 90 so that 90 upon 90 which is equal to c divided by pi by 2 again 90 by 90 is equal to 1 by cross multiplication c is equal to pi by 2 c is equal to pi by 2 means what one right angle is equal to 100 grades and one right angle is equal to pi by 2 radians of course it is very familiar because by taking 90 degrees only we have converted everything so let me change that 90 degrees to some other angle that other angle is uh, for example i am taking one of the angles convert some 45 degrees into the other systems okay so that question here is now convert 45 degrees into other systems so when i convert 45 degrees into other systems again i will take the empirical relationship that is d by 90 
which is equal to g by 100 which is equal to c by pi by 2 okay now i am converting 45 degrees into grades for that you will have to consider these two right d by 90 is equal to g divided by 100 then substitute d is equal to 90 sorry d is equal to 45 so that 45 divided by 90 is equal to g divided by 100 correct so 45 ones and 45 twos you can write it as 1 by 2 is equal to g divided by 100 you can cancel 2 and 100 also right 250s are 100 therefore by cross multiplication you get g is equal to 50 what is this g is equal to 50 it means 45 degrees is equal to 50 grades okay and coming to the second one now converting 45 degrees into radians when i convert 45 degrees into radians now you will have to consider d divided by 90 is equal to c divided by pi by 2 again d is equal to 45 so that 45 divided by 90 is equal to c divided by pi by 2 again 45 ones 45 twos so that 1 divided by 2 is equal to c divided by pi by 2 by cross multiplication <coughs> c into 2 is going to be 2c is equal to pi by 2 into 1 is pi by 2 when you transpose to that side since it is multiplying it divides that side then you can write it as c is equal to pi by 2 into 1 by 2 pi by 2 into 1 by 2 is equal to what which is going to be pi divided by 4 so therefore 45 degrees is equal to pi by 4 radians so this is very easy to convert i just converted degrees into the other units you can convert radians into the other units as well as you can convert grades into the other units also so finally we understand one thing here that there are three different systems of units of measurements of an angle they are sexagesimal system centesimal system and radian or circular measure okay so this is what is the empirical relationship between these three systems of units of measurements of an angle thank you